everyone. Now, most of my videos generally aren't geared towards the average home internet user, but this one's gonna be. So if you're a home user, you've probably got something like this for a router. Now, this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set most routers, I guess, but uh, definitely a TP-Link one like I've got here, so that it basically blocks adult sites. Now, a friend of mine's got young kids, he doesn't want them getting into something they shouldn't, and he was asking me the question of how he can block it. So I'm just gonna show you a way where you can block it with DNS through a service that's free to use, and I'll set it up on this TP-Link. So I'll try and explain it as I go. Okay, so the way you'd have it set up is you've got your internet connection coming into your router via whatever means your internet is, and then you just have something on the local side, either by wireless or wired. Now I'm just using wired here, going to this laptop, and I've got the interface to the router hooked up here. So I'll just show you what's going on here. Okay, now this is the interface for that router. And if I just go to advanced and go to network, and then I go to LAN settings, you can see what it gives out to these local machines here on the network. So it gives them a bunch of details. Now this is all pretty much automatic. And the main one I'm concerned about here is this primary DNS. So it's not set here, it says optional. So what that does is tells this computer where to find internet addresses. So if I go to google.com, it'll use, it'll use the address that's given to it by this router. So if I want to check what it got here, I'll just resolve.conf. It's using the, the address of the router itself, 192.168.1.1. So that's the address here, 192.168.1.1. But you can override that and do some other ones. So if I set that to be uh, Google's DNS, which is 8888, save that, and then restart my adapter here. So I'll just disconnect it and connect it again. Now, when I look at my resolver, you can see it's gonna use 8888, which also works for internet traffic, obviously. Now, if I wanted to go to some um, adult site, I believe there's one called pornhub.com. I'll just try that. Actually, I better block that. You can see it comes up. Now, I'm not gonna click through and get into it, but you get the point, it loaded. But what you can do, instead of uh, Google's DNS, there's another one from Cloudflare. Like, you could just use Cloudflare, which is 1111. Do the same thing, restart the adapter, have a look what it's getting, and now it's gonna use 1111. But if you go to Cloudflare, just 1111, they have the old introduction here. And for DNS, it just tells you about DNS, but it's got this thing called families. And here we go. So what you can do, what they offer basically, is adult content filtering. Okay, so you go down here, Instead of 1111, you can use 1112, which they claim will block malware, or you can use 1113, which will block malware and adult content, all sorts of stuff. So let me just set that up on the router, 1113. So back on the router, I'll say 1113 for the network. Okay, that's set. Now just restart the adapter. You can see that I'm now gonna use 1113. So now if I go to pornhub.com, it just says unable to connect. So quite simply, what's happening is it's, look, it's using 1113, which is Cloudflare for the lookup of a website, and it's just not giving it a result, so you can't find it. Now I'll do a packet capture this time while I do that. So I'll just try that again, it'll fail again. We can see what happened here, so I'll just stop that and have a look at DNS. You can see that it did the request for it to 1113, but it got a response of all zeros, which means it, it won't resolve. So you can see if I expand this, answer was zero, zero, zero. So it didn't get a real answer. Whereas the one that works would have given it the answer there so it could then connect. So this is just a simple way of, of blocking it. Now, as I said, I just wanted to make this video for the average user who may not be a network engineer or a network specialist of any sort, just to show you what you want to do to quite simply stop um, you know, adult content on your network. For my router, I use OpenSense, which of course has a lot more stuff I can do, but it's still in there. You can still set your, your DNS server. That's the one I'm currently setting. You just override it with, with that one and you'll be set. Okay, so that's what I wanted to share with you today, just to hopefully help you out if that's the sort of thing you're looking for. So that'll do for now. Till next time, take it easy.